السلام عليكم ورحمة الله حقت معي عربية فولكس فاجن شيروكو يحتاج يغير العداد من الأصل اللي هو ده لواحد جديد ديجيتال فأنا مركبتش ده قبل كده بصراحة فمش عارف إذا كان بياخد بيانات إيمو برضه ولا إيه هو جديد صيني Hello everybody now I'm having Volkswagen Scirocco and the customer needs to upgrade the instrument cluster from the original OEM1 to a fully digital Chinese brand new cluster so uh, I'm not sure if this unit uh, should um, uh, should be programmed uh, with the, the emu data like uh, original ones or uh, not so the first thing before removing that one I will read the emu data from it to back up the emu data from uh, the first cluster or original one I'm using VVDI2 mm. should be synchronized with server so I will open hotspot from my phone and come back again now I connected uh, to the internet and synchronize with server success 31 days go to key learn fourth auto detect diag read EEPROM working key now the ignition is on ok it's dark now it is dark also the switch is on Let's start on using steps. You finish all operation before the system is ready from reading the data. Prepare to the key. Add key using the data finish. Okay. Now it began to read the EEPROM. Okay, save, test, make a folder as digital, digital cluster, EEPROM, save, read the data, okay, Save Emo Save Now the instrument is still dark So set instrument Now it came back again And reset success Now I will close that and install The new one To see what will happen Now this one is old one so I will leave it there that one is the new one from the back side you see this connector that will fit this one and on the car we'll plug the blue one here to this so I will assemble and put it in uh, to show you and now here is the new one uh, connected if I switch the ignition on you see it's 
so now if I try to start the car it started and shut off because of laser so I'm not sure if this cluster should be read by VVDI2 or not but I will try Uh, no diag can't connect car free switch killer port auto detect diag nothing if I go to the agnostic unit engine read okay exit want to go to 17 cluster instrument it's not responding can't access still can't access so now we'll see what we will do then come back again now uh, I don't have um, a good solution for that so here is the white connector that fits to here and maybe uh, this one is for this one is coming from the car Maybe we can put two clusters in. I mean, oh, yeah, from the original one, we put only the printed circuit board on that connector and put uh, this white one to, uh, uh, to the new cluster here on the white connector. Maybe this is one solution. Maybe we can make emo off on the engine ECU. So I will ask the customer to see what we will do. And now this process ended with disassembling the original instrument cluster and put the printed circuit board, original one, um, below uh, the new digital cluster. Now I will disassemble and continue. Now everything we took from the original, uh, the original one out. The needles, covers, plastic, uh, the white plastic uh, here, and uh, the screen. And the only thing left here is the printed circuit board for the cluster. So we will install this on the back of the digital one. Now we have the two boards connected and the last connector here will go to this one on the car now I will assemble everything and test now as you see everything is back here and here is the new cluster so I try to start the car now it should start and it shouldn't shut off. Now it's running good. As you see, now it's running perfect. But I hope when we assemble this cluster back, we have a space or a good space or enough space to hold it on place. Okay, now that's it.